Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Yick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today is another episode of What's for Dinner. And what I'm making today is actually not a full course, but what I want to show you today is a side dish that is one of my mom's absolute favorite, 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 favorite things. And that is using these babies here and making little mushroom caps. So, Mushroom caps, it's like I'm telling you, it is one of the easiest things to make and it's super fast to make, which is perfect because I had a bit of an insane day and so I could get this done in probably about 15 minutes flat. So what's important is when you're when you're uh, washing the mushrooms, you don't want to wash them, at least this is what I've been told, you don't want to wash them until right before use. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just going to rinse these babies off. In order to pop these off, you don't need to cut it. All you have to do is just pop. Super simple. All right. And so what I do, ah! I throw them at the camera. That's what I do. They're a little slimy. Okay, so then I just separate them. Again, just simple pop. So now we put these mushroom caps aside and then for the little stems, a lot of people just throw them out, but I found that if, and you slice them super thin, they almost taste like bacon chips. That's it. That's all the prep work this entire dish takes. Wash, pop, and cut. I repeat, wash, pop, and cut. That's it. So for the next part, all you need is some butter. So I throw in like a knob of butter. I use olive oil. And then I let that melt. And go all nice and ooey gooey. So then I just take the mushroom cups and I just line them around the pan. So you want the holes facing up. Because they're going to be juice pockets. This one will be a juice pocket because I broke it. But that's okay. It still tastes good. I have it on a medium heat. Then, all the little pieces here. Take those. And I simply scatter them around. I also eat mushrooms raw. Do you guys eat mushrooms raw? I've never had a, I don't think I've ever eaten a raw mushroom. He likes to eat raw mushrooms dipped in ranch dressing. If you have, comment below. Tell me what you think about those. To season this, I take a little spoon and I put just the teeniest tiny bit of butter in the middle of each mushroom cap. Then you salt it. Pepper. And garlic powder. And that's all you have to do. See how they're turning golden brown? That's beautiful. Cover it and they'll soon be absolute delicious. I don't know if you could tell, but the little juice pockets are starting to fill up and that's when you know they're ready. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. Beauty, 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 beauty. That is done, my friend, done, done, done. Stove off. So these are going to end up being super crispy, like the really brown ones are going to be crispy, crispy, crispy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to let it sit for a bit because Nelson's not quite home yet. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. I want to sneak a bite. Oh. You 
just have to try it. I can't even explain to you how good it is. Just try it, absolutely try it. If you want to do this vegan, instead of using butter, just use margarine. Um, you can use like an olive oil based margarine. We've done that in the past and it's equally as delicious. But yeah, this is like my mom's favorite side dish. All right, now to try one of these goodies. Mm. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use my fingers. Let's pick this one. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so squishy and filled to the brim with butter and its own juices. Ready? Bottoms up. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, I did it perfectly. It's so good. It's tender and juicy and you get a little bit of that, that garlic that just dances on your tongue and oh my gosh, the aroma from the butter is like fantastic. It's so amazing. Now I have to stop myself from eating the mob before Nelson gets home. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed Good My Cooking videos, do consider subscribing. I try to post between two to three videos a week. And if I have extra time, I do post up a fourth bonus video. Until next time, bye! I can do it one-handed. No, I can't. My mom's coming to the rescue because I'm making these for her. <laughs>